Hi makeup friends, I hope you all are doing well. I have a very exciting video to share with you guys and it's going to be broken into two parts. This first part is going to be the lippy haul and the second part is going to be uh, makeup and some skincare and hair care items. Um, so I just wanted to share with you guys all of the lippies that I purchased recently probably I would say within the last month and I just did not get a chance to put them all into a video as yet so this is what I'm doing now but if I were to do the entire video it would be way way too long and I would like to give you guys um, maybe some swatches maybe not on everything because it's a lot of lippies so I just wanted to share with you guys so let's get into it I um, I'm trying to put together two giveaways I was planning to have one giveaway for my one year on YouTube which is at the end of June and then I have since crossed 900 subscribers I'm trying to get it to a thousand so I'm planning to have a giveaway for that as well so instead of having it like that I've planned to do one uh, giveaway when I am close to a thousand subscribers so I'm collecting items and I'm going to have two winners a first place winner and a second place winner so two people will win from that giveaway so look out for the giveaway video um, I'm not sure how soon I may do it if I may wait and collect more items or if I may just go ahead and do it I'm not sure as yet but I have I have been collecting items so let's get into the lippy haul I have all of them here in this box laid out so I'm just gonna get into it and share with you guys what I purchased so let me first start with what is on my lips I may have to take off my watch and my bangle because I want to do some swatches right so Sasha has since brought out um, some new lip colors to their intense matte lip velvets and I really really like the formula of those they don't crack they don't peel they don't flake and they are super super comfortable um, and really they're really really impressive I must say for Sasha it is super impressive but Sasha has been wowing us like with their buttercup powder and all of that lately so fantastic so they did come out with four new shades a nude a pink a black and a brown and I did get to swatch the nude pink and the brown they didn't have the black out at the time when I went and I didn't want the black in any case so I did get to swatch them and I picked up the nude and the pink so the nude one is called bounce on it this is a really pretty color it's not just nude it's like a Oh, it's so nice it's like a I can't even describe it I don't know if it's taupe I don't know what it is it has like a I feel as though it has like a kind of gray undertone it's really really lovely so that's bounce on it so that's the first one that I picked up then I swatched the berry one and it was beyond gorgeous now it was not my intention to buy this many lippies it just happened over a period of time and who cares so I picked up this second one this one is called bite my lips and it's a beautiful beautiful berry toned one I thought that it would have been too close to showstopper but it is completely different the showstopper is more vibrant and neon like and this one has a really pretty berry undertone I can't wait to wear this one I've worn this one quite a number of times and I love it and then finally what's on my lips is partner in crime now they did bring out a new brown one and I swatched it but I really didn't like it that much and plus it wasn't even in stock when I went it has a very yellow undertone in that brown and I don't know how good that will look with my teeth so I just didn't bother so this is partner in crime now a lot of people already own this from the previous collection I just did not have it but this is what I have on and I really really like it I've been wearing this for a few hours well and it stays put really really nicely and it doesn't what I appreciate about these is that it does not flake off when I eat it just fades and I prefer it to be that way and I can reapply and it's no problem I really really like these Sasha lip velvet so that's the first place that I went to and then all of the other lippies that I picked up were from wonderful world 
now wonderful world has gotten so many new items i think they're out to just break the bank um the items are just beyond beautiful i have been picking up items for my giveaway so since i have to go into wonderful world because i have to go into wonderful world i just picked up items that i liked so yeah i picked up this city color lip gloss and this lip gloss says it has argan oil in it so it's city color lip gloss with argan oil and the reason that i picked it up is because it has a very metallic look so they do have quite a few of these that look very metallic -y. this one is called queen bee this was the one that i thought that i would get the most use out of there was a very pretty gold there was um a red there was like a peachy color but this is what and look at that you know we know that metallic is all the rave right now so instead of me actually going out to purchase metallic lippies that i don't feel like i might wear that often i just figured let me pick up some nice glosses that i could use on top of lipstick so if i want that really metallic color i can just go for it by itself so i picked up this one i really like it so that's called queen bee then um wonderful world has got the milani amore matte lip creams they've got new la colors uh lippies they've gotten jordana sweet cream lippies they just have so so many lippies and watching these right now i forgot to add in two lipsticks but i'll put that in another hole sometime further down so from Jordana, I picked up the Jordana lip lights and these are the color shock gloss. Look at the colors on these. I really, really like these. These were $37 or this was $25. Um, the Sasha lip velvets, I believe they've gone up to about $55. So I'm not sure if you're going to get them any cheaper in Pennywise. You can definitely check there. So I picked up these two Jordana lip lights. They were $37 each. And these are supposed to be like really, really vibrant lip glosses. The only thing about it, it has a scent that I really don't like that much. It hopefully it fades. And it is a really vibrant lip gloss. It's a beautiful lip gloss. Beautiful, beautiful lip gloss. So that one there, this one is called Radiant Raspberry. And this one, they had quite a number of shades in it. And then the purple one, it's really purple. And the purple one is called Purple Pop. See how vibrant they are? I really, really like these. These are super, super nice. But I don't think I'll pick up any more of these shades just because I don't think I will really wear those shades. But I really like these. Pick these up. So, then I told myself that I have um, already tried this and really did not like it. And I said I, I wasn't going to try it again. But... They came out with some really nice shades and I just decided to pick them up just to see if I could stand it because of the shades. Now these are the City Color Creamy Lips. They're like a lip stain. Is that what they look like? And I had this before and I had to get rid of it because it smelled so bad of chemicals. It just smelled like burning plastic or burning rubber it smelled really bad and the color was so nice but i just could not get over the scent so i said you know what at first i picked up one and then i went back and they had these other colors and then i picked them up but it's a good thing that i gave it a second try because they have done something different different with the formula it doesn't smell nearly as bad and they have done a really good job at covering up that scent so the first one that i picked up is called lavender drop and I've really been getting into these kinds of colors lately, more so than my pink and stuff. You guys know that I'm a pink fanatic, but I've been really, really liking these colors. So this is Lavender Drop here. Then I picked up this one called Triple Berry Spritzer. Now it does look a little similar, but it is darker. Right? So Triple Berry Spritzer. These, I believe, could be about $25. Wonderful, Will. So this is what Triple Berry Spritzer looks like. These are really, really nice. The formula is a good formula. I just had a really bad scent before. But now the scent is a lot better and I can't stand them. And this one is called Sweet Sangria. This is a really nice, vibrant red. And these have a very, very moussey, whipped 
texture. So that is sweet sangria. Loving these. Then, as I said before, Wonderful World has gone ham on the Milani products. They've brought out the new um, foundations, the primers, the powders, um, the Amore matte lip creams, and they've also brought out the Milani palettes. And I did purchase one of the palettes, but that will be in part two of the haul. So I already owned um, four of the Milani Amore matte lip creams from before. That's when I traveled. I picked up those. But to my surprise, all of the ones that Wonderful World has, they do not um, have the same shades that I got. Maybe one or two. But I know there was a limited edition collection and then they brought out some more shades. So I'm not really sure how that went but I'm just gonna share with you the ones that I did pick up these cost $68 um, each these are the the liquid lipsticks from Milani the matte ones and all of the wonderful worlds that I've been to since have almost all of the shades I know some people were saying that the one in the Shagonas area um, it was really picked over and there were only about three shades left but in wonderful i have been to wonderful world west mall long circular mall gulf city mall and maybe one more and all that i have been to have almost all of the shades as well as the foundations if you've look if you're looking for the foundations those branches that i listed have almost all of the shades so the first one that i picked up is called number 26 fling this is a really nice nudie one and these these Milani ones have a delicious scent. It has like a cake scent. And these dry down really, really nicely. Very, very comfortable as well. It's a nice, lovely color. So that's Fling. Then I picked up this beautiful red one. And this one is called Amor. Or Amori. I'll just show you the applicator on these. It is like a flat paddle. one is a beautiful beautiful red I really like this one and then I picked up uh, number 20 in sugar looks similar to what I have on a little so I know a lot of people were looking for this darker one and they are available in the branches that I listed so sugar these do have a, a, a moussey texture as well. They do dry down very nicely. These can get a little flaky if you go too heavy handed with the amount of layers that you are applying. Right? Now I'm going to show you guys something that I realized. I'm just going to wipe off my hand. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it because it's going to make a big mess right now. Anyway, so the apparently... The same people that manufacture Milani also manufacture Giordana. And Wonderful World has brought out, I have been waiting for these and I haven't seen them so I just didn't bother looking for them anymore. But since Wonderful World has brought them out now, I picked up quite a few of the shades. And what I'm speaking about is the Giordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color. So these are liquid lipsticks from Mila, um. Jordana, I'm sorry. Sorry, from Jordana, right? So the same people that manufacture Milani manufacture Jordana. And this, I believe, is the same formula as these. They smell the exact same. And if you go through some of the colors from Milani and some of the colors from Jordana, the colors are the exact same. For instance, let me show you this one here so I swatched this red one here from Milani and that's one that one is in Amor then I picked up this Giordana sweet cream matte liquid lip color from Giordana and this one is called cherry cobbler now when I swatch these even if they look a little different there they are the exact same color so if you really want to try the Milani ones but you do not want to spend the $68 that that these cost these cost $35 in Wonderful World and they are the same formula and some of the shades are the exact same. So this is what the Giordana one looks like. You do get a lot of products coming off of the, um, the wand. But I'm just going to swatch it right next to it and show you guys. Look. 
This is the Giordano one. This is the Milani one. The Milani one may look a, a bit different right now, but it's because it's starting to dry. But they are the same color. So, ain't that something? So, $35 as opposed to $68. So, I did not know that, but I went ahead and I picked up some of them and then I was watching some reviews on it and that is what that is what I discovered. So let me show you the other shades that I picked up from Giordano. This one is called Creme Brulee. I have not worn these as yet but they do feel like they're going to be very comfortable just like the Milani ones. You just don't go too crazy with the amount of layers that you are applying. It's going to get flaky. So this one is Creme Brulee. Then this one is called Tiramisu. I'm really, really liking these colors lately. Tiramisu. And they all smell the exact same. Then I picked up this one in Pomegranate Pie. This is a really nice color. very vibrant and it's a fuchsia-y kind of purpley color it's really really lovely and I believe Milani has one of these and it's called fancy and it's the same color so if you want fancy from Milani just pick up the cheaper one from Giordano then I picked up this one in mango sorbet and I'm not an orange person I really don't like orange lips but when I saw um I saw a swatch video with this and this dried so nicely on the girl's lips. I said I'm definitely going to pick it up and try it and I have an idea to do this like with a copper, a copper colored eye. So I'm definitely going to try that. Mango Sorbet. And then the last one that I picked up from Giordano is called Red Velvet Cake. So this is a darker one. Let me show you this one. So this is a lighter red. This one is Cherry Cobbler and this one is Red Velvet Cake. So they are different. Let me give you a swatch of red velvet cake. And these smell so nice. Red velvet cake. Oh, lovely. Oh my gosh. I swear all of these lippies just jumped into my basket. And I didn't have the heart to tell them, go back where you came from. So I just bought all. Anyway. Now, the last brand that I bought was from LA Colors. LA Colors has, oh my goodness, the display from LA Colors has new palettes, has brushes, has eyebrow uh, pencils, it has palettes, it has new nail polishes. The display from LA Colors is really, really fantastic. I've never seen one like that before. And they have brought out several new kinds of lippies. But what I purchased, uh, the this one is the LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss. So this is what it looks that looked like. And I picked up this one because it does look metallic. This one is called Pucker Up. So this is the only lip gloss from that from this um collection that I picked up. But this lip gloss is very, very disappointing. It barely has any color. Look at there, it really, it does nothing. It probably has a very light shift to it. What I will use this for is like a lipstick topper. For instance, if I go out and I have on this liquid lipstick for a very long time and I feel like it's getting uncomfortable, I will just put a gloss on top of it. So probably I will just keep this one in my bag and use that for this, but this one is really disappointing. Then the ones that I did pick up that I'm really excited for, these are the LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss Matte. So these are what they look like. They look like the same packaging. The lip gloss has a white cover. The matte lipstick has the black cover. Now at first I picked up a few of these. I did not think that there were that many um, shades. So I only picked up like three and I thought that that was all the shades that it had. Until I went to other wonderful world stores and I saw the entire display and there are a lot of these. Now I posted a picture of these and some people commented underneath and they said oh that's a waste of time and it's really patchy and it really this and it really that now it's a 12 dollar liquid lipstick you can't expect it to be what a Kat Von D liquid lipstick is going to do but I have tested these so far on my arm I've left them on for a while and they have not flaked or peeled 
Now, I feel the, the, that these are going to be a lot better quality than the matte flat pigment glosses that came out. I have I have bought like the entire collection of that and I'm right now I've do, I'm down to three. Just because I gave them away, I really don't like how those feel. I kept the three darkest shades just because I really like how they look. And I will take the uncomfortable part of it just because it looks good. So, mm, I want to try these out and I will test them for myself and I will get my own opinion. If you guys want a swatch video and a review video on this, let me know. This first one that I picked up is called Let's Kiss. Now, some people are saying, you know, the lighter colors aren't as good or the darker colors aren't as good and... Blah, 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 blah. I need to test them for myself and I'll let you know. So this one is called Let's Kiss. These, the scent isn't that nice on it. I don't really like the scent that much, but I'll see if I can get over it. This one is called Enticing. These seem nice and they don't seem that drying. As I said, with any liquid lipstick, if you do pile on too many layers you are going to get it peeling and flaking and very uncomfortable so if you can't get it opaque enough in one swipe then fine leave it at one swipe then some of the liquid lipsticks i have come across do need a little help and i do have to put a creamy lipstick beneath it so that it feels a little more comfortable on my lips this one is called canoodle i really like this shade then this one is called Sweet Lips. Look at my arm. Oh my goodness. It's going to look like a massacre when I'm done. That one there. It's a lovely shade of pink. Oh my gosh. You guys know me and my pinks. Then I picked up this red one. It's called Lusty. It's a really nice red. So we'll see how these go. But so far they seem really, really nice. But I have not tested them yet on my lips. So when I do, I will come back and let you guys know how they work. This one is called Kiss and Tell. I'm running out of room. Kiss and Tell. That's a really dark one here. But... They seem really, really nice. And then last but not least from this huge lippy haul, uh, this one is called XOXO. I do have a lovely friend working in Wonderful World and she told me she absolutely loves these. She has not had a problem with these so far. So that is it for all of my lippies i hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video <laughs> um i just did not have the heart to tell them to go back where they came from so i kept all of them um shopping for the giveaway is getting me in trouble because i keep picking up stuff but it's for review purposes for you guys so i'm doing my job it's part of the job Anyway, um, look out for that uh, giveaway video. There will be two winners. If I do have enough items, I may just do three winners. So I'm really looking to give back to you guys. I really enjoy doing these videos for you. And um, I really appreciate, appreciate you guys watching my videos, taking time out of your day to watch them. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If there's anything that you want a review on or you want a more in-depth anything on just let me know down below love reading your comments love 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 reading your comments leave me a thumbs up i'll appreciate it and until next time guys bye